Welcome. I'm Tammy from Nutmeg Notebook. We're glad that you could join us this afternoon. Today is a very exciting day. And if you are watching on Facebook, hello. If you're watching on YouTube, hello. We're happy to have you here. And um, somebody might be watching on Instagram as well. So we're using StreamYard to stream this video. So we will be able to see comments on um, from Facebook and from YouTube. We cannot see your comments or your questions if you're watching on Instagram. So if you want to ask us a question, come over to YouTube and enjoy us on the Nutmeg Notebook YouTube channel for the live. So you would just Google YouTube Nutmeg Notebook live and you should get the link so and that way we can answer questions for you uh, if you have any questions so what we want to talk to you about today is the holland bowl mill exclusive perfectly imperfect bowl sale so if you've been watching us following us for any length of time you know that tom and i eat a chopped salad every day as one of our main meals and we've been doing a salad as a main meal since 2013, every day. I know, can you believe it? I haven't even tried to add up how many salads would that be that we have had. Um, it's a, a principle that we learned from Dr. Joel Furman from his Eat to Live book. And he would say that, remember that salad is the main dish and it can be, and it can be amazing and wonderful and obviously, since we've been eating a salad every day as one of our main meals for 11 years, um, there's a wide variety that you can create with your salads. So it started out, we were eating, you know, leafy green salads with veggies and, and some wonderful beans and potatoes and rice and things like that. And then it morphed into chopped salads. And once I learned about chopped salads, man, that was such a game changer for me. And it eventually led me to the Holland Bowl Mill Company. And Holland Bowl Mill is located in Holland, Michigan. And it is now the fourth generation that is uh, working in it. They used to make um, the little wooden shoes. So that's how they started out. And of course, when people no longer wanted those, they moved on to other things. So now they have bowls and wood utensils and cutting boards and presentation boards and all kinds of wonderful things. Well, we started using their bowls to make our chopped salads in. And I'll show you uh, bowls like this. If you're on, please say hi. Tell us where you're watching from in the chat. Um, that way I know you're here and I'm not just talking to myself. Yes. And Tom is here. Hello, Tom. Good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, good evening to you on the East Coast. Yeah. Still um, afternoon here on the yeah, West Coast. Yeah, this video is an afternoon evening update from where we started this morning at 9 a.m. Pacific time, noon Eastern time. Uh, so if you see the thumbnail and go, oh, I've already watched that video. I did cheat and use the same thumbnail as I <laughs> used this morning on YouTube and I think on Facebook as yes. well. Uh, but this is new. It is live. And, and, it's, and we had a lot of questions come in. Uh, in the comments the and some emails this afternoon. So we thought we'd jump on again and just clarify any questions about that and give you an update on, on how the sale is going. So, right. Um, so that's why we're back again for just a little while to kind of catch up with all of that. And we had some things we, we actually, we had a salad out for this morning's video. We actually chopped it for lunch. And, and, and we'll show you that too in a minute. We've yeah. got videos, to, I mean, um, pictures. Pictures. Tom's just got to um, go to the yeah. cloud and capture those. Yeah. So, so yeah. Well, I'm going to go over and, and download those. Oh, and, did you want to give them an uh, update on the oh, number yeah, of let's, bowls? Yeah, yeah let's cover the numbers. If you are coming back to us from this here. morning's show, um, we started this morning with uh, 200 of the 12 inch bowls. A fourth of them are gone. We're down to around 150. We got the last update from Corey at Holland Bowl Mill at uh, about 2.30 our time. And it's now 4.10. So this information is about an hour and 40 minutes old or so. Um, half, half of the 15 inches are gone. We started out with 200. There are about 100 left. 
So half of these went out the door today. This is a four day sale. Um, Ooh, but I, I, I expect that tonight and tomorrow will put a serious dent in the rest of the 15 inches and the 17 inches. They're a little bit bigger. They're a little bit more expensive. Right uh, they're going out a little bit more slowly, but they are going out. Um, there were 65 to start with and uh, 15 of them are gone. So there's about 50 of the 17 inch ones left right. to cover us for the next uh, three days. So, and so this is our fourth annual um, perfectly imperfect sale with the Holland Bowl Mill. And they have done this exclusively with our community, the Nutmeg Notebook community. And so what it is, is when they, these are all one piece uh, wood bowls that are cut from a trunk a tree trunk and so what happens is they cut it and then once they've cut it out of the trunk then they can see does it have imperfections does it have anything going on if it isn't up to the standard for the um, perfect line of bowls then they set them aside for us to sell for the perfectly imperfect. Yeah, like, and like, like this one has this itty bitty tiny knot right here. Maybe you can hold it up yeah. so the folks yeah. can see it. Yeah, it and has, so that makes it an imperfect bowl. So yeah. I'm gonna go over and catch up with what notes are in Facebook because I put them all in, but I don't know if they like landed there. Okay. And so I'm gonna go do some housekeeping there. If you're on Facebook, all of the links and stuff are up in active or in YouTube, but I'm going to drop them in at least comments on the Facebook page. Uh, and you can ask us questions yeah. if you put it, the questions in the chat and just preface your question with two or three question marks yeah. and with two or three Barb's question here marks, from Pennsylvania. then that's helpful. That helps them pop out yeah. at us. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Pamela okay. is here and she's in Illinois. Um, we used to live on the Iowa, Illinois border in the quad cities. We lived in Davenport. And so what they do then is they set, the um, slightly imperfect bowls aside for us and they um, uh, accrue those over the course of the year and then every spring we offer up this wonderful sale so this is the most economical way that you can get a holland wood bowl these are what we use to chop our salads in we like the 15 inch um, is perfect for the size salads that tom and i like to chop so what we have on the sale this time we have these three sizes and it's all here oh great. on on facebook it, the, my what i put in came through it just didn't come through on the preview so if you want the link to the holland bowl the only way that you can see the imperfect sale items is by using our link and um, because they've made a special landing page just for this sale and it's exclusive to our community. So on YouTube, you will look underneath the video where it says more, click on that, and that will give you the information and the link to the Holland Bowl Mill sale. And if you're watching on Facebook, we have put the link is in the um, above the video. There's a little right up there and you'll find the link there. If you're watching on Instagram, you can click on my Instagram bio and click on link tree. And then a little pop-up comes up and says, you're leaving Instagram. Do you want to do that? Yes, you do. Cause it's link tree. It's fine. And you'll find the um, link for Holland Bowl Mill and perfect sale at the top of that. So um, that's how you'll find the link. So, then we'll just tell you about the bowls. So they set them aside and when they have enough of the imperfect bowls, then they call us up and they say, you know, we're ready um, for your community to offer up this great deal. So the bowls can have um, a little mark like this one. And so you can see that, but this does not change um, being able to use the bowl to serve out of or to chop out of. The bowl has all of its integrity. It just might have some sort of a blemish on it. And you still get a lifetime guarantee. And as I said, these bowls are all made from one piece of wood. So there's no gluing to them at all. And then again, this one has just a little knot up on the top of it. 
Um, otherwise, the bowl looks pretty perfect to me. And this one is maple. This one, do you need this? I need that number, yeah. This one is cherry. So you can see the different um, colors. And then also note that depending on the tree, the colors of the cherry and the maple can also vary depending on the tree. And then this one is a beech wood. This is also an imperfect bowl. And it's just because it kind of has this crazy um, grain pattern going on. I happen to absolutely positively love this bowl. I love all of the character that it has. Also, the imperfect bowls may not be perfectly round. So I'm going to hold this one up to show you. This one is not perfectly round. You can see it's a little bit, kind of a little bit egg shaped. When I hold it this way, it really reminds me of an Easter egg, especially with the variation in um, the color of the grain, uh, both ends of it. And so it just has this really unusual grain pattern, which of course they don't know until they cut into it. Um, but anyway, I think it looks extremely artistic and beautiful. And this one is a 17 inch. So you can also get on this um, sale, you can get free engraving on the bottom of them. This one says, get healthy, stay healthy, one salad at a time. And you can put the date on it. And this one, we have um, Nutmeg Notebook established 2009 because that's when I started my uh, blog. I wasn't plant-based back then. And then this one says Tom and Tammy established 1979. That's when we got married. So the engraving on the bottom of it is free. If your order is $100, under, under $100, you'll pay a flat $10 shipping. And if it's your order is over $100, you will get free shipping. And so what you will be looking at when you go to the, the website is you will be choosing which size bowl you want. Do you want a 12-inch bowl? And it's going to come with I'm, I'm missing my mezzaluna knife, Tom. It's over here. And it comes with a mezzaluna knife for chopping your salads. And so Tom is going to bring that over. That's, that's mine. Perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Perfect. But that's perfect. my mezzaluna knife. That's yours. Yes. This is his. I want to take his knife. Okay. And it won't come with this sheath. The sheath, you'll have to buy extra but it will come with a um, mezzaluna knife. And you can see that's made so that you can chop in the bowl. So you'll get the bowl and you'll get the mezzaluna knife with it. So you will have the, to choose from the 12, the 15, or the 17. I'm gonna, let's see, which way do I need to go to get them all in the picture? Let's go this way. Uh, so on my monitor, everything is backwards for me. Uh, which really messes with my brain. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, um, Sally Barron is watching from Michigan. She said, I get to go pick out my bowls in person. Well with, worth the trip, love the tour. That's fantastic. Tell them when you go, tell them Tammy from Nutmeg Notebook sent you. Um, Jacqueline says, hi everyone. And to the both of you, I was able to purchase the Holland bowl 15 inch earlier i bought it for my mother for her birthday she eats salad every day like you two do thank you so much oh that is so nice and so um i hope you've got something engraved on the bottom of it because that makes it really fun these do make really amazing gifts as well so think mother's day birthdays father's day weddings, anniversaries, somebody purchases a new home. These are heirloom quality bowls. And so there's something that can be passed down from generation to generation. So they are an investment on, on the, um, in the beginning, but um, it's like a one-time purchase. So, so anyway, what I want to show you here is these different um, sizes. And so not only 
um, when you go down in diameter, does it get smaller around? But as you can see, you can see on these that you also are going to lose some of the um, depth of the bowl. So if I put it like this, you can see that the 17 inch is much taller. It's deeper than the 15 inch. So um, Corey did tell us that the 17 inch is approximately 10 quarts. So this one is holds approximately 10 quarts. So really big. We have um, two of these this size and we use these when we are entertaining or we're taking salad to a potluck because it holds so much you can you know feed a crowd that way then here's the 15 inch so the 15 inch is two inches smaller in diameter but you can also see that it is also more shallow than the 17 inch this is the size that tom and i use to chop our salads and we both have 15 inch. He has a um, beechwood bowl and I have a cherry bowl. I also have a cherry bowl this size that I don't chop in, that I just use um, if we're having just, you know, like four people um, at dinner and I'm making like a small Caesar salad. But this one is the one I use when I'm making like a gigantic Caesar salad um, for a potluck or for a family dinner. And Caesar salad's always what they want with my ultimate Caesar dressing, which that recipe is on the blog. So um, for the sets, I know you guys are wondering, wondering about price. The 12 inch bowl with the mezzaluna knife, this is a set, is $70. The 15 inch set with a mezzaluna knife is 110 and these are um pretty reduced prices compared to the perfect bowls mm -hmm. and then on the 17 inch with a mezzaluna knife would be 165 and the woods you will be shopping for the size of the bowl and then they will pick out a bowl for you it could be walnut it could be cherry it could be beech, red oak, ash, or maple. Now, if you have a really strong desire for a certain type of wood, when you check out on the Holland Bowl Mill site, in the comment, you can put in there, I would really prefer to have whatever, cherry, beech, um, maple, ash, or walnut. Um, or red oak, you can tell them they will do their best. If they have some left in the size that you want, in the wood that you want, they will select that. If they don't have that anymore, then they'll just select one of the other woods for you. Um, and that's just how they have to do it because it is the imperfect sale. And so um, they don't have all the, you know, they're not going to have all of the woods in all of the sizes the whole time. So the sale starts today, it goes through the 22nd, um, or it will end when the supply is exhausted, which last year we sold out of the 15 inch on the first day, but we do have more this year than we had last year. So, um, so hopefully we'll be able to have the sale a little bit longer. All orders will ship in approximately five to seven days. You'll get that free engraving on the bottom up to 50 characters. So, you know, write out what you want and count the characters because it can they can only do 50 on here. If you want to buy one as a gift, you can, in the comments, you can say that you would like them to um, put a card in there to the recipient, you know, happy Mother's Day, happy birthday. Um, what have you, so that they will know. And um, let's see, does anybody have any questions? Jacqueline says, yes, I engraved and also did a card. Perfect. Madison is watching from New Orleans. Do I say it right? New Orleans? New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans? New Orleans. I don't know. I don't know. My dad My dad was from um, Mississippi, and I never did get that, that draw. New Orleans. New Orleans. I never did get that draw. 
um, quite right. So, um, Tom, if you want to grab me a salad, I'm going to show them the um, salad demonstration because I think that's really helpful. Okay, also on this sale is... You're not um, going to chop it. You're just going to show them the size. Yeah, I'm not going to chop it. Um, also, if you want to get the holder for the Mezzaluna knife, now is the time to get it. And it, beeswax. Yeah. You, can you grab the beeswax? Yep. Over there. Um, now is the time to get it. Uh, because you, you know, won't have to pay any extra shipping to get it. So it's just a little holder and this just slips down in there and this protects the blade and it protects you from the blade. So um, I use it. I keep it out on my kitchen counter um, back behind my stove area so that the grandkids can't reach it. And um, that way I know exactly where it is every day because I use it every day. So um, unless you have like a drawer or someplace safe to put it, I highly recommend you get this. This is $30 because it's a lot of um, hours of time for them to cut it, assemble it, and, um, you know, put it together. So even though it's small, it's very labor intensive. So, um, so it would be a good time to get that. Also, the maple utensil set. Um, this is $17.50, and you can get this as well so that you can, you know, serve up the salad in a beautiful way. And then they also sell their beeswax oil, and they call it bees oil, um, for helping to preserve the integrity of your bowl. If you are an ethical vegan and you do not want the bees oil to be used on your bowl, when you're ordering it in the comments, put please do not use these oil and they will not. Otherwise it will come already coated with a coat of this and then you will want to have either this or food grade mineral oil. So if you're an ethical vegan, you can just purchase food grade mineral oil. We have some in our Amazon shop, which I believe there's a link in the show notes on YouTube for that, and you can use that. Um, Corey said, if you use it, if you use your bowl, Corey from Holland Bowl Mill said, if you use your bowl to chop a salad every day, then he suggests oiling it or using the bees oil once a week just to preserve the bowl. It helps make a barrier against moisture. It keeps the um, the wood from drying out. If it dries out, it can crack. These do have a lifetime guarantee. Even the imperfect ones have a lifetime guarantee as long as you maintain the integrity of the bowl. And so to clean them, you never put these in the dishwasher. No, 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 no. That would be terrible. Um, it couldn't handle the high heat and the constant uh, flood of water and then the drying would totally ruin the bowl. So what we do is after we use it, we just take a dish cloth, a little bit of soap on it and a little bit of water and wash it out, rinse it, and then we take a kitchen towel and we dry it. Then we set it on the counter for an hour or so just so that it can finish air drying before we put it, um, we have a shelf in our pantry that we put it on. And so that works well for us. Um, again, uh, oh, plating up plants said, so glad to see you live. Thank you both for all you do. Mississippi, hey, that's awesome. So um, my dad was from Mississippi. So glad to have you here. It's wonderful. You guys also give us a thumbs up if you think about it. Um, that really helps our ratings here on YouTube. All right, so. And if you're watching on your big screen TV, get out your smartphone and go to YouTube and give us a thumbs up. I guess there is a way to do thumbs up on your TV. I just, I don't know how that's done. Okay, so what I want to show you now is I want to show you, this is one of our batch prepped salads. I have a video all about how I batch prep salads once a week. I make 14 of these salads, uh, seven for me, seven for Tom, because we eat we each eat one of these every day. And I have a video here on, um, I think I have several videos actually, but I did one recently where I bought everything for my salads from Walmart. 
And then I, we came home and I um, batch prepped them in real time to show you guys how it works. So, um, so watch that video to figure out, to find out how I make them last for a week. And what I want to do is I want to show you how this size salad fits in each one of these. So this is about 12 to 16 ounces of salad. This is a nine cup Ziploc container. They no longer make this exact container. They still have like an eight or a nine cup, but it's a little bit shorter and it's deeper. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the salad in. This is the 12 inch. Now we're just gonna dump it all in here. Look at all that yumminess. And so I want you to see, see how full this is. So I would not be able to chop the size salad that I eat in the 12 inch bowl. This bowl is too small for me to chop in. If I start chopping it, pieces are just gonna fly out. Now, if you eat a salad about half the size of this, then you could get the 12 inch. Or if you don't mind chopping it in um, uh, a little bit at a time, then you could probably use this if you still wanted to do my size salads. So now we're going to transfer this into the 15 inch bowl. And remember the 15 inch is the one that Tom and I use. So I'm just gonna pile it in here and you can see big difference. It's not sticking up over the top of the bowl like it does in the 12 inch. Because remember the 15 inch is not only bigger around in diameter, but it is also taller. See, it's quite a bit taller. And so it's deeper. I have more surface area for chopping. Plus it's deeper, so everything's not going to fly out of the bowl. And so, so this is why we love this size, is just like perfect for the size salads that we eat. Then I'm gonna pull over the 17 inch and we'll just put the salad in there. This is a new concept of a tossed salad. It's now been tossed three times. So now you can see this is even a bigger, deeper bowl. And I can actually chop two or three of my salads in this bowl. Um, it will accommodate that. And I have done that um, if I'm serving a large group of people, then it works um, really well for that. If I'm doing like a Caesar salad, um, you know, I have another one and I don't chop in it that's this size because I want to keep it pristine for um, using for serving purposes. But I can, you know, do like Caesar salad for like a dozen people in this big bowl. So works great if you have a large family, if you do a lot of potlucks or dinners at your house or picnics, then this works really well for that. Um, did I say to wax the, the bowls like once a week? I don't know if I had said that or not. Also, I want to um, tell you did I say to that when the, the you get your like bowl, they will come with that. these little um, also, cards want, that um, tell you instructions for use, how to use the chopping bowl and the mezzaluna knife set, how to care for them, um, also how to care for the bowl as well. So that's really nice. Plus, we have videos on our YouTube channel about how to chop salads, how to care for the bowl, and you will also find care instructions on the Holland Bowl Mill website. Okay, let's see. Jacqueline says, I ordered the knife stand as well. It just seems right. Safety facts and how you explained it just having on the counter since it's used daily. Yes, I do like the, the holder for the mezzaluna, very much so. I'm so glad that I have it. Um, planty, plating up plants says there is an echo. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. I've been okay. turning off everything I can think of to, okay. uh, to chase that down. All right, Tom's um, trying. I, and, and the only thing I suspect is this Instagram window here, but I don't know if I close that. If I will, is there a, do you see a silence button here anywhere? Yeah, the sound is off. See? Okay, so that's off. The sound is off down there. Okay, and then let's check our settings. Make sure we got echo uh, turned off. Um, Up there's audio. Audio. 
And echo cancellation. And echo cancellation is turned on. Echo cancellation must be off to use stereo audio. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't want that. No. Okay. So. Um, now Pamela says. Oh, you know, I know what gone. it was. The echo is gone. I was checking the sound in the other room with my mic on, so it was my mic picking up the other computer where I was going to check the sound. Tom, 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 Tom. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom. Okay, so the problem is not. The computer the problem it's, is me you've been the problem all day today yeah. doing stuff like that i went in tammy's office to check the sound feed and this little microphone here was picking up the sound and i'm sitting there trying to figure out what to turn off to not get the double sound and you were creating it the whole time okay sorry folks sorry. so that that situation should have unwrinkled itself now with me being out of the range of that of that uh microphone. okay so um i have a couple of friends that use the 17 inch bowls because um, they're making salad for their entire family um, one of my friends has one of the she keeps one at her office she takes her salad to work with her and then she chops it at work for lunch um, you can chop your salad the night before or the morning of we don't recommend like more than 24 hours chopping your salad just because once you've chopped it, then all of the juices of all of the vegetables that you have in it start releasing, and then that moisture starts breaking things down. If you have tomatoes in the mix, the tomatoes have acid in them, and the acid will start breaking down the greens and the other vegetables as well. But you can chop it in advance, but just don't put your salad dressing on it and don't put your vinegar because most salad dressings have some kind of acid in them. And um, vinegar, of course, is acidic and that will start to break down the vegetables. So um, wait until right before you're going to eat it and then add your salad dressing or your vinegar. And that way you can have a chopped salad uh, for lunch every day at work or we take them when we go on road trips. Um, recently, we were doing air travel and we chopped our salad the night before because we had to leave our house like at 2.30 in the morning to catch our flight. And so we um, chopped our salads the night before, but we didn't put any dressing on them. And, um, and then we just took it with us. So you can put your salad dressing can go in a 3.4 ounce container and pass through TSA. So um, just be aware of that. Okay. So does anybody have any questions about I have those pictures ready to share when you are? Okay. So, We're ready. Okay. Okay. Tom's going to, um, and I've got the little chopping video too. Um, yeah, we can show, well, let's do the videos. Let's show the end result. And then the okay, video let's will show, be, be more. We've got a video of me chopping a salad. Um, we did that. So, um, so I don't have to, you know, chop a bunch of salads that we are not going to eat right away. So, um, so this is the, the end result of, of what we did. So we had at today, after we got done with our video this morning, um, then, well, after we had Sia on, then we made our chopped salads for lunch. And this is what, see, I'm wearing that dress. Um, this is what I had. I made a Mexican chopped salad. So I just chopped my salad with a mezzaluna knife and then I added beans and I did rice today because I was out of oat groats, cooked oat groats and corn. And then I had plantains. I just take ripe plantains. I brown them in a skillet dry and um, I love plantains and especially in a Mexican salad. And then I had some salsa. I made tortilla strips out of corn tortillas in my air fryer, 375 degrees for about four minutes. There you go. And um, tomatoes. And I added, um, I added microgreens, <laughs> brain dead there. I think I'm getting tired. Um, added those to it. Cumin, fresh um, lime juice, some chili powder. And um, it was absolutely delicious. That was so. absolutely beautiful lunch. It was. And then, so <laughs> and that Tom is, Tammy's lunches are a work of art. And I make, I, I, I make a less, uh, a, a less fancy salad. 
So, yeah, but yours is equally as delicious. Yeah, I mean, it's loaded too. It's got a lot of stuff going on. It's got corn and rice and black beans, celery bits. Um, and um, uh, I usually put a few peas in it just for fun. Edamame. Edamames for little treats. Oh, what do you use? Sunflower for seeds. And then I use Tammy's Ultimate Caesar dressing to dress it with. I didn't take a picture of it dressed. This is right before. Oh, this I, is right before. Right before oh, I, I had pumpkin seeds on mine, and you also had. I had pumpkin seeds. seeds on mine, so that so I'm I'm checking off checking off all twelve of the daily dozen. Oh, uh, I did take a picture of mine after I stirred it together. Oh, you did. I did. I'll have to give that. A, Can a, you find a, a, that? Yeah, I'll take a look for that. So. That, okay, and then were you going to show them the ch video of chopping the salad? Yeah. Because I thought you were going to show that first, and then. Uh, well, no, I wanted to show them what happens what when we you had for lunch. what the end result is. Yeah. So. And so this is what we do most days. Now, some days Tom will have, um, instead of the chopped salad at lunch, he'll make his soup. And then in the evening, he'll have his chopped salad. But um, so. it's the, you know, it was the easiest thing to have for lunch today. Okay. Um, which size bowl is that shown in? That is the 15 inch. Yeah. We both use a 15 inch which is, oh, am I on screen? Yeah, which is this you're in the one. little window. Yeah. Oh, you want to go back to big? So this is the 15, the 15 inch, and this is what we use every day. So Tom has one, I have one. We um, gave our daughter one, so if we're at her house, we can still do a chopped salad because we have a bowl there as well. So, so this is the um, 15 inch this is the 17 this is the 12 so we've got the stair steps here 12 15 17 when they get bigger in diameter they also get taller and have more depth okay so you're going to show them the video next yeah i just had i just remembered i needed to turn the sound back on because i was turning off all sound to <laughs> stop that problem with the guy with the echo okay so here we go, go again okay we're going to share a video with you it's only a minute and a half long. Minute and a half. I take the tomatoes and I just give those a little bit of a cut. So I have red cabbage, I have spinach, I have red onion, I have shredded carrot, I have broccoli slaw, I have chopped kale, and here is arugula. And I'm just going to start cutting. Then we build our salad a tablespoon of ground flax. I like the golden flax because I just think it tastes better. So these just add a lot of flavor and texture. Get them right out of the air fryer and put them on your salad then. So I like to add a little bit of fruit to the chopped salads. I also have some chopped apples. You could also do pears instead if you wish. This is edamame, about a half a cup of edamame here in the middle. I have some shredded beet and they are incredibly delicious. We're gonna do a little bit of pomegranate seeds and they are packed full of antioxidants. And then I have a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds. And there you go. This is so gorgeous. I actually created an ebook and an online course all about beautiful chopped salads and show you how to batch prep salads, how to chop them, and then how to create all kinds of beautiful things with it. Okay. There we go. That's what we do every you day. You did such a nice job on the demonstration. You got that salad done so fast. <laughs> okay, yeah. so he sped it up a little bit or, or um, edited it. It takes three minutes to chop the salad. We have um, timed it to see how long it actually takes. And it only takes three minutes to chop our salads, which that goes by pretty fast. Yeah, I wanted to mention, uh, Tammy was holding up the chopped salad course at the end of that. Um, and if if you're gonna go on and order that, and you go to the Nutmeg Notebook site, you wanna go to my account and log in um, to your user account, or if you've purchased a course previously or something. Uh, you know, and if you haven't, uh, made a login then you create a login there's a place to register to make purchases on the site that is necessary before it will let you actually buy the course because it wants to know who you are so it knows where to send it so creating an account is part of making an order uh, that also allows us to do any follow-up any support or anything like that because i can see your account in the computer if you don't put your name in and don't put your email in 
I can't know who you are and I can't help you uh, on the back end. So, so please, um, when you go to the site to look at the course, uh, make an account um, before you try to buy it. I got an email today. Somebody put it, puts it in their cart and then it said, you need to log in first. Well, that's true. You have to have an account and log in so you can buy the course. And we have a discount code at Nutmeg30 and you can save 30% on our beautiful chopped salad course. So we have 12 videos and um, uh, how many recipes? I don't even remember how many. There's around 50 in there. Recipes in yeah. here. And so not only do I give you recipes for salad dressings, um, I talk to you and show you how to make the salad so that the last a, a week, I know I'm just, and then I give you lots of different ideas on what to do oh, to here. make your salads fun and delicious and uh, salad dressings and different kinds of toppings and then i was going to go to the center i'm looking here we go and then lots of ideas i have 25 different salad ideas for you you know showing you different things that you can put on your salads to keep them interesting and delicious people always ask us don't you ever get bored eating your salads are you kidding me there's like an infinite number of ways that you can make them and um, have tremendous variety so you know you can do mediterranean with falafel and hummus and some i make a gluten-free tabbouleh salad you can make it italian um, using white beans and olives and some um, sun-dried tomatoes that don't have oil in them and onions and peppers and Italian seasoning. And, you know, there's just the Mexican obviously is one of my favorites because I make it frequently, but lots of different things that you can do. We always add fresh fruit. Um, to, well, I do. Tom doesn't. I always add fresh fruit to my salad because I love the little bit of sweetness that it adds to it, the moisture that it adds to it and then you can use less dressing then as well so um sandra says i actually go ahead and chop four salads at a time i eat one and store three i only put in the hearty drier vegetables at that time and any softer wetter ones um and dressing just before eating perfect perfect and see this is the great thing everybody can figure out what works best for them and how many salads they um, can make in advance. And the thing about making the salads in advance is that we eat them because it is the quickest thing to have for our lunch because they're already ready for us to just chop. And then we always have a variety of toppings in the refrigerator to choose from as well. You know, beans, grains, fruit, um, nuts and seeds. So we always have a wide variety of things to choose from. And so, you know, if we are, you know, fancying a certain flavor that day at lunch, then we can change it up and make it however we want it to be. And so um, that's just the beauty of it. We also use very sturdy greens in our salads too. And the chopping of them makes them easier to eat because the as kale, as you know, <laughs> is a very sturdy green and it takes a lot of chewing. We still get to have plenty of chewing, but it just makes them a little bit easier to eat because we've broken it down a little bit. And also it makes it more flavorful as well. Okay, so Tom's going to take us to the Holland Bowl Mill um, Imperfect page landing page so you guys can see what that looks like. So it does, it does land you here. Um, and, and this is different than the regular nutmeg notebook, uh, Holland Bull Mill landing page. This is uh, only for the imperfect sale and only items that are part of the imperfect sale. There's a half a dozen entries here uh, that, you know, Tammy showed you the, the uh, utensil set earlier. She's shown you the knife and the knife holder. We've talked about the beeswax and then they're showing the bowls here, the 17 inch, the 15 inch and the 12 inch and the prices. I don't know if you can see them on the fine, paper, fine print here, but they are showing the prices. Um, and I can't quite read them from where my vantage yeah, I've point told here. Them. I did yeah. talk about the prices. And if you and, click and then on when it, you click on it, let's click on the 15 inch. Then it's going to 
go into a little bit more detail about you know what you're getting with the 15 inch this is where you add engraving where you add a per if you, you want a card enclosed if you're sending it to someone else or as a gift you put that information in here uh and how about add, the pictures add it your card and then they do thank you tim and then they show you know some you know pictures of what might be considered an imperfect uh, and that's on the exterior bottom of that. Yeah, that's bowl. the outside bottom. That's not that, that's the bottom of the bowl outside. It's where the tree turned into bark. And it's you know, it's been sanded down. It's just very, very dramatic in color. And then this is a showing of uh, of a very interesting knot in the side of the bowl. And you already showed them like these knots here. I did. Um, yeah, this yeah. this bowl has a lot of them. Yeah. So this imperfect bowl does. Okay, so uh, and are the other bowls the same images as well? Because they. I don't know. Check and see. Quick view. The website just went live this morning and we hadn't even had a chance um, to look at it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like here, there's one of our bowls actually has uh, some business like this on it where, right. where it's got a little bit of a knot. A little bit of a knot up at the top, but yeah, it doesn't right affect. There, the one in the middle. It doesn't affect the integrity of the bowl. And the bowls still have that lifetime guarantee as long as you maintain it um, don't abuse it don't yeah. put it in the dishwasher don't put it in a sink of hot soapy water no 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 and make sure that you are either oiling it or using the bees oil to um, preserve the wood so to, to avoid or create confusion <laughs> whichever whichever way you want to view it the, the, everything that's on the imperfect sale is specifically on that imperfect sale page. page. You don't need a code because by going there with our link, you are already getting, you know, the, the price, the, the discounted price, the discounted price on all the bowls. So there's nothing more to do there. Once you've made an order there and checked out and, you know, gone back home again, you will receive an email with your order acknowledgement. Where should they look for that? in your in your regular email or in your junk or spam folder uh, it's coming from holland bull mill and so your computer may not be familiar with their with their email uh, service so look there and and you will find it there in that email they're talking about a 15 percent discount um and there's a code you didn't forget anything you didn't miss out on anything that is a, a bonus that they're doing for imperfect bull sale purchasers until the end of the month, March 29th, to go back into Holland Bull Mill and pick something else out, anything else out. Uh, the terms are in the email. Is it a hundred dollar minimum, or I don't recall. But um, but to make another order with that 15 percent off, and you get 15 percent off that order, the entire order. Mm -hmm. so and you when can you order get, more than one thing, and when you go back to the regular site with that link. Um, you know, you may encounter some business about a code and a, a free nine inch bowl and stuff that's outside of this sale. That is, uh, uh, that is, a, you know, that that's another thing going on, but, but, but not in conjunction with this, this is separate. So, but anyway, that 15% is a little bonus thing to, um, uh, you know, hopefully invite some folks to go back into the site and, and discover something else for themselves. Yeah. So think ahead. If you have any weddings, anniversaries, birthdays, Mother's Day, Father's Day, anybody's bought a new home. Yeah, maybe you don't want to, gifts yeah, for maybe that. you don't want an imperfect one for that. Maybe you want to buy a premium bowl for that, but you can use the 15% coupon that you get after buying the imperfect. Well, okay, let's show them some of the reviews that people oh, sure. on um, okay. Facebook. So oh, you want to put the salad back in the, yeah, in the bin? Okay. Um, yesterday I um, posted on my nutmeg notebook Facebook page and just asked people if you have um, a Holland bowl or an imperfect bowl, um, please give me a review on it. And so that's what Tom is going to share with you now is what people told us. And um, so Rachel Johnson says, I bought a Holland bowl meal wood bowl after Tammy posted about it. I'm using it to prepare chopped salads easily. I'm hooked on chopped salads. Now my parents even bought me another bowl uh, with a beautiful free inscription at the bottom for Christmas 2022 because I use the bowl so often. So thank you, Rachel, for that for that message. Connie says, yes, I purchased one with a knife and absolutely love it. Perfect for chopped salads. Patricia says, love my hull and bowl. 
inscribed and great for making chopped salads. I make them daily. Thank you for the recommendation. Mm -hmm. Kathy says, love both of the 15 inch bowls I bought through your site from Holland Bull Mill. One is from the Imperfect Sale and both are beautiful. Too pretty to chop in. Um, I have my commentary on chopping in the bowl. <laughs> June Stewart says, Nutmeg Notebook, we are loving ours. That is a beautiful one that they got there. Uh, that, and that's a, that is a premium bowl. That's not an imperfect. Linda McNamara says, I love my Holland Bowl. I bought it last year during the imperfect sale, and it's wonderful. Tammy says, thank you for sharing. So, um, and then here's a picture. Well, here's one of Tammy's creations that she made. So, um, and, and then a variety of pictures. Is that the last one, the group photo? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, so, so then I want to show them the inside of our bowls that we chop in because you guys know that um, we always want to be upfront and um, clear with you about anything that we recommend for you. Oh, here, the, that one's yours. So okay. um, this is a beechwood bowl right. that Tom uses every day. We've had this bowl since, look at the bottom. 2018. 2018, so it's six years 18, old. 18, yep, yeah, it's six years okay. old, and he chops in it nearly every day, and it is going to get a little bit of yeah. green patina. Do you see all these fine little hairlines here? That that's tens of thousands of chop marks. That's six years of six salad. years of chopping, and the green is because I do use it every day. I am chopping greens in it every day. And, that's and, it, and it shows up more in the light like this. When I look at it down here, I, I don't really, it's, it shows up a lot more on camera. Than it, does. it does. Well, here. the lights are bright, right on it. Yeah. And so, so it will get a green patina and you are going to get cut marks. Just think of this as a tool. Um, a tool. It is like a wood cutting board, but it's in the shape of a bowl. And so it's yeah. going to so, show cut marks. Yeah. And so when you have one cut mark, it shows, but when you've got 10,000 cut marks, that one <laughs> cut mark doesn't really matter at all right. it's just it's just in good company with the with thousands of other cut marks so the entire surface of this bowl even like right up to the edge is 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 cut marks so right and then show you can show them mine um because my bowl is cherry it's a little bit darker it doesn't show the green as much even though i chop in it every day like tom does um it you know it just doesn't show yeah, there's the light you can see some over here yeah. Oh, right yeah. There. I can see some, but it doesn't show up as yeah. bad. I mean, it's it's a cutting board. It's the same as a cutting board. Yeah. A well-used cutting board is well used. That's right. That's yeah. right. And so you, but we, what we want you to realize is that if you buy one of these and you cut in it every day with the mezzaluna knife, it is going to show um, cut marks just like your wood cutting board does. Uh, because this is sharp and it's just going, that's just part of what happens. Now, if you want to, you can set this out in the sun for a couple of hours and it, the sun will bleach it. This is chlorophyll um, from the greens and um, the, sun, would bleach it out. Yeah, the sun will um, bleach it out, but there's no point in us doing that because it's just going to turn green again. So let's talk about... Uh, oh. Oh, go ahead. Questions. Uh, so Jill's asking, do you ever put the salad course on sale? Um, it is on sale. Yeah, it actually, the, the, the code for the sale is nutmeg30 right now, and it's 30% off. Th this time last year, because we've had the salad council course out for a couple of years, we did a code for 25% off with last year's uh, uh, Holland Bowl Mill sale. But as we moved into 2024, we, we are really trying to uh, you know, get people interested in healthy chopped salads. And so we increased the discount yep. to 30, but it's nutmeg 30 because we want it to be applicable to whatever platform or whatever vendor yeah, and that can we be might used, be working and with. And that can be used on all of our courses. We have a batch cooking with Tammy course, the beautiful chopped salad and course. The upcoming and the upcoming cooking, cooking for, for company, company ebook will be um, on there later, hopefully later this yeah, week. Yeah, so that's our 2024 code right now is Nutmeg, nutmeg 30. 30. And yeah. you can save 30%. So you would go to nutmegnotebook.com, click on courses, um, create an account, and then use Nutmeg 30 for any of the courses to um, enjoy that 
30 yeah. percent you, you find that code published on facebook or on youtube uh, maybe sometimes on instagram it's provided to the people that are following us on one of the social medias or on one of the streaming platforms um uh, or we subscribe always... to the blog so it, it's available for those that are uh, uh you know receiving the information that we're putting out if somebody just comes along and wants to buy the course and they're not and they don't know about the code because they haven't been uh engaged in the conversation then then they don't have the code so you have the code <laughs> Right. I, that was a and, long way around to say. Yeah. And we do have like on the, the main page of our blog, it has at the bottom, we have the code on there. We also, um, if you subscribe to nutmegnotebook.com, go to our website, nutmegnotebook.com, and a little pop-up will come up and you can put in your email and that gets you on our email list. And every time we send out an email, we send out a code for the um, courses that we have so that you can save it. So it's just a reminder for you. And then also you find out about things like this. Um, whenever we work with a company whose products that we Here. use and love, uh -huh. then we share whatever deals come up. Complaining up plant says they need a green bowl for us salad junkies. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I say about the patina, I've said it before is it's a it's a badge of honor it is. it is a testament that you are in fact uh consistent in eating your greens that's so, right so this this lets you know that i'm eating a, a healthy well-rounded plant-based diet so sea dog says i love my holland bowls thanks for introducing me to this company i bought bowls for my mother and mother-in-law for mother's day that is so so yeah. nice yeah it, when it's they, not perfectly imperfect bowl week uh we would invite you and you and you have a birthday or an anniversary or something happening please do you know visit hollandbowlmeal.com forward slash nutmeg that puts you right on to tammy's uh, landing page at holland bowl mill and um and you know, uh, i would be perfectly happy if anybody gave me any one of these those imperfect bowls oh absolutely okay I, mean, these, I see your point these are absolutely positively gift worthy like this has just this tiny i mean i just think that you know that is just that adds character to the bowl right yes i'm like oh my gosh that tree has a story what happened there you know and the same with this one i mean this has just that Where tiny a branch little, there was a branch there yeah yeah and so that's part of the story and then this one even though this has like crazy green. that was a big old tree yeah look at how huge this old yeah. tree had mm -hmm. to have been and look at the crazy grain yeah. it has i absolutely love this bowl i love the the odd shape that it has mm -hmm. because it's super unique and no other bowl is going to look like this yeah. i just think this it's like it's art and then it has this crazy grain on the outside of it yeah when, I, well. when I get that oiled up it's going to be even prettier oh i know yeah. i think it's just it's gorgeous i love it so i would totally want this to be um sitting out on my dining room table for everyone to yeah. see because it's like a work of art yeah so if you got something you know is coming grab it imperfect now uh but if something comes a half a year from now um, oh, sorry please please do you use our code it's through our wonderful affiliate partnerships with companies like holland bow mill that supports the work that we do so yes we, and we always have um we always have a special offer with holland bow mill also so if you want to buy a perfect bowl instead of 40 dollar order you do get a free mezzaluna yeah, knife he, when you use our link he actually calls them premium bowls because every wood bowl it has natural grains and artifacts. Yes. So I think he he purposely uses the premium, premium. bowl description because they all have. Unique, what's a perfect bowl? Right. I don't know. Premium bowl. Right. Right. See, I only claim to be nearly perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. Just nearly perfect. Rich Chick says, "Could you please show what different sizes the bowls are?" Absolutely. So we'll go this way. This one is a twelve inch. Yeah. And when we're off, Britt, you can go back and watch from the beginning because we also showed putting salad in each one of these at the beginning of the video. And so this is the 15 inch. 
And this is the size bowl that Tom and I use. And so you can see there is a really big difference in the depth between the, the 12 and the 15. When the diameter goes down, it also becomes much more shallow. Okay. And so not only are you getting more diameter, but you're getting more depth. So yeah. it will hold more. And then this more. comparison is very dramatic. <laughs> this is very dramatic. This is a 17 inch bowl and this is the 12 and then here's the 15. So you can see here also, I'll turn it this way so that you can see the 17 inch bowl is considerably taller than the 15 inch bowl. And also know that the- um, Did you already co cover the cup, the cup volume on these? Um, I did the once, courts? but we can do it again. And so, and then believe it or not, we have been on for an hour. I, so. And you said 20 minutes, um, <laughs> the 12 and, and you get a mezzaluna knife with each bowl. So if you order the a 12 inch bowl, you get a mezzaluna knife for this sale. If you order the 15 inch, you're going to get a mezzaluna knife. If you order the 17 inch, you're going to get a mezzaluna knife. Yeah. They're knife. calling them bowl sets. And back to my other conversation when you use the hollandbowlmill.com forward slash nutmeg that also with the premium bowls also earns you a mezzaluna knife for orders over 140 dollars well, 140 or up because the beechwood bowls 140. 140 or up the you know the 15 or bigger comes with the mezzaluna knife 12 inch would not qualify but these two would so that that's an always on nutmeg notebook special using our link Okay, so this is the 12 inch holds approximately three quarts. And remember, no bowl is exactly 12 inches. It might be 11 and three eighths. It might be 12 and, and a quarter. Yeah. A quarter. Um, you know, it depends on the tree. And then the 15 inch holds approximately six quarts and the 17 inch holds approximately 10 quarts. Okay, so lots of options. You are ordering by size of bowl and they will choose a wood for you. If you have a specific want of a certain type of wood, you can specify that in the comment section um, and they'll do their best to um, accommodate that. But if you ask for a cherry and they've sold all the cherry, then you're going to get one of the other types of wood. They're all beautiful. They're all hardwoods and they're all suitable to be chopped in. And the wood types are walnut, cherry, beech, red oak, ash, and maple. And we have the maple, the cherry, and then this is the big boy here is um, a beech wood bowl. And then Tom up there in in the um, hutch, I have a walnut plate that we can show them over on the right, just so they can see what the walnut would look like. I think I've got probably two of them. Well, these are stained walnut. They're not actually, th these are stained walnuts. Oh, those are not. Yeah, that's not actual not, walnut. Okay. Do we, I don't know that we have a walnut bowl. I don't have a walnut bowl then. Yeah. That's, you know, I don't have the walnut and I don't have the red oak or the ash. Um, so, so anyway, when you go on to order from the Imperfect Sale, you will um, um, be choosing the size of the bowl. And this big one is a beechwood. This one is a beechwood. And sometimes the beechwood are um, mostly, like yours didn't have all this variation in grain. Um, you know, sometimes they don't. This is an unusual, kind of a little bit unusual, um, one. Like I said, it was a big old tree. It was. It was a huge tree. Beautiful. All righty. So if there's, um, if anybody has any other questions, put them in the chat now um, because we are about to wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, just on the trees that they use uh, up there in Michigan, if a tree falls in the region and it's a tree of any size or quality, uh, they get a call. Uh, everybody knows that Holland Bull Mill is always looking for trees. For trees, and so if there's a big storm, guess what? <laughs> a lot of bowls get made, and they're they're a zero waste company. All of their shavings and stuff get 
uh, cycled back into uh, you know into into mulch and ground cover for the yeah nothing is start, wasted the, the nurseries I'm trying to say yeah so so they're they're really uh, uh, environmentally conscious and and turning what it would otherwise be you know landfill into uh, beautiful beautiful uh, woodwork so um, kind of back to the uh, if if you you know when you get the bonus coupon then this is the type of thing that that you might um, you know want to use head on this is this a, is our fruit bowl our fruit bowl and it's full of bananas and plantain. plantains and it has the holes in it um, so that the gases don't collect in the from bowl. the from the fruit can escape and so it's supposed to you know keep them from getting overripe too fast yeah. um, there's a question um let's see somebody asked laura says how often do you oil the bowls that depends on how often you use them we use ours hours every day and corey um said on today's video that if you're using it every day then just give it a light little oiling well, once, once a week, week. On you sunday. can use yeah on saturday or sunday so you can use their their bees oil if um, you want, you can purchase this from them. And um, that's what we use. We find that this works really well. It creates a better barrier against moisture than just the oil. If we use the mineral oil, food grade mineral oil, then they will need to, to you know, be sure and oil them um, once a week because it doesn't seem to so we're we're wiping it out with a dishcloth like every day mm -hmm. so it's, it's getting a rinse of hot water and a swipe of the dishcloth and and so that every time you put soap on there and then we're not pouring soap on there it's just a little bit on the dish rack mm -hmm. and so we're we're wiping it out every day so we're we're going to dry them out and so so they get and they, then to sharpen these you can just use whatever knife sharpener you have we don't very often have to sharpen these because they do seem to hold mm -hmm. their edge um, pretty well. So um, let's see. I don't think there's any more. No, I think hey, we're Drake's in the house. Hi, Drake. Nice of you to join us today. Um, awesome. From okay. Facebook. Okay. So <laughs> again, if you're watching on Facebook, you should have all the information and links right in the notes for this. Of course, YouTube, you have it all in the show notes mm -hmm. and in the description of uh, the title. I was able to squeeze in the, the Holland Bowl Mill Imperfect Sale link. If you're on Instagram, Tommy, everybody calls you Tommy and me, Tam. And so now that's infectious. Tammy. No, they call you Tommy and they call me Tam. Right. You had it backwards. That happens often. <laughs> and what I was saying was. Yes. <laughs> I, you completely spaced my conversation. I don't know what I was talking about. I don't know. I have no idea. But it'll come. Oh, the, the links. Instagram folks, in the bio, there's an imperfect sale link in Tammy's bio on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, so click if, on link if, tree. If you want to stay there in Instagram land and don't want to mess with those other social medias, you can stay right there and get straight to home. Bowl mail. Yeah, so you would click on my bio, click on Linktree. It's going, Instagram has this new thing now where it, when you click on Linktree, it says, this is trying to take you outside oh of Instagram. That's true. Do you but want, okay. do you want to go? Yes, you want to go because it's Linktree. It's safe. And so just click on, um, yes, that you want to leave Instagram and my Linktree Facebook was in that for a while too. Yeah, and they stopped. You're, you're leaving Facebook, and so we they get a lot of kickback. Yeah, and Instagram will too because it's Meta. It's owned by the same company. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, uh, so you can sharpen it, get your beeswax, or um, get the this is bees oil. It's a combination of beeswax and oil, or get your um, food grade mineral oil. You can buy that on Amazon. We have it in our Amazon shop. Um, it's in the bottom of the YouTube show notes. Way down at the bottom, there's an Amazon link down there. Or you can get it at any like um, kitchen store, yeah. kitchen supply store. We'll have it as well. We have videos on how to um, oil or wax the bowls. And you will also find that information on the Holland Bowl Mill site. How to care for your bowl. How to wash it. How to um, wax it or oil it as well. And also, you will get instructions from them um, in your order when it comes. 
you'll get little instruction sheets. Make sure that you don't dispose of these so that you have these to refer back to. Um, they have you know good information on them for you. And then check out our other videos. And if you want the beautiful chopped salad course, go to nutmegnotebook.com, use uh, click on courses and use the discount code nutmeg30 and you can save 30%. And while you're there, if you decide you want the batch cooking with Tammy course, um, you can get it, use the same code and save 30% on that as well. The bowls will ship between five and seven days. And remember, you can get that free engraving on the bottom of it as well, up to 50 characters. So I think that about covers Chop salad. everything yeah. on chopped salads okay. and the Holland Wood Bowl um, extravaganza. Okay. We'll do a Facebook um, and probably another email update tomorrow on how inventory levels are doing. Yes. Um, so look for that probably not before mid morning. We'll and we can send out an e we should send out an email. Yeah, that's me. I'm going to send an e yeah, I'm going to send an email to our nutmegnotebook.com subscribers. So, um, so if you're not um, registered to receive emails there, you can just go to the site. A pop up will show up where you put in your name and your email address, and then you'll get a notification about what's going on. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, yeah. please click on like. Feel free to share our video on your Facebook page if you wish. If you or send it to anyone who you know would enjoy having one of these bowls. If you're watching on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way, every time we go live or we put up new content, um, you won't miss it. Click on that little bell icon and YouTube will even send you a notification. And when you sign up with us on netmakenotebook.com, you'll get on our email list and you'll never miss these kinds of wonderful sales that are within the plant-based community. Right? Right. Okay. That's it. Oh, what type of wood is the largest bowl you were showing? Oh, I think I did answer that. Um, this is the beech beach wood. wood. Beech wood. This one is the beech wood. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Give us that thumbs up or a like, and we'll see you next time. I'm Tammy. And I'm Tom. And we help you get, get healthy, healthy and, and stay, stay healthy, healthy one, one chopped salad, salad at, at a time. time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.